Okay, today we're going to be dealing with the front brakes on uh, Buick Century, it's a 2000. First off, first thing you got to do is remove, there's four bolts in the back. These are called sliders. Remove those bolts with the 15 socket or wrench, whichever one you have. And there's two more towards the back. One on top, one on bottom. That's going to be for both. Sliders and the bolts to remove the whole housing. So. Breaker bar. So now that the bolt, bolts have loosened out a little bit, we can go at it again with the ratchet. So, yeah. Move these quickly. Both of the sliders are going to go out, and should pop off just So now that you've taken these bolts off, if you notice there's the second one that has to come off, this should just pop right off, along with the old pads. So what you want to do now is take these old pads right off, You're not going to need those anymore. Grab a wire brush, get all in there clean, get all that old brake dust off and all that, to both sides. Okay, so now that you've gone out with the wire brush, you want to grab Never Seize and take that and put it everywhere you just clean with that wire brush. So all along in there. Again, you want to do this to both sides, not just to the one. And now you're ready to remove your rotor and start putting it all back together. So, this is very basic now. Just grab your rotor. Should pop right off. And we're going to replace this completely. Okay, so now that you've taken your rotor off, you're ready to start putting everything back together. Um, hopefully you've gotten a new rotor. This one's brand new right out of the box. So, fresh out of the box with every rotor, you want to grab brake cleaner and um, get it. Spray it on your cloth and clean off your rotor. Same thing to both sides. Grab it, cloth again, wipe the whole thing down. And you should be good to go and get it back installed. So, let's get this back on the car. Okay, so this is very basic. Um, all I've done is just slid the rotor literally right on, and that's on. There's nothing else you got to do that. Now, what you want to do, is you want to grab your brackets for your pads, grab your new pads, and just slide them right on until they're just supported. They don't have to be on there firm. They're going to slide around. Don't worry about that. Grab both of them. Put them on. It's going to be slippery because of the never seize, but don't worry about it. It's not a problem. So you just want to grab that and put it right over your rotor. 
just like that. Make sure that this is still supported in there, by the way. Just drop that down till there. And you have to remember that you have holes in the back that do have to be lined up. So grab your screws and put those right in again. And those should slide right in. Top one. So remember, there's always two one on the top and one on the bottom. Put that right in. Won't have to go in all the way. You're going to have to go at it with the ratchet, anyways. So grab your 15 ratchet all over again and tighten those up. are basically assembled. I've removed the mechanics wire that was holding this up and I've just brought this down resting on top. Grab your old brake pad, put it right up against the piston and make sure it's supported there. Grab a C-clamp, go from the back and you want to turn it until the piston is starting to be pushed inside. So now that the piston is moving you can see it. There. Now it's right up against. So, remove your seat clamp. Remove this pad because it's clearly garbage. And now you're ready to start putting this back together along with the sliders. So, this just simply hangs right over. You want to make sure that this is all lined up. Grab that, push that there, and do the same thing with the bottom. Now, before your sliders go back in, you have to grab the silicone brake lubricant. You want to put it on your sliders from the bottom of the thread down, not on the thread. Just grab it, mark it up a bit, and use your fingers, just grease it up a bit, and they should slide right back in. Okay. So, those will be tightened up. I have this stuff all over my hand, so that's not going to happen. So, do the same to both. From the thread down. And, same thing, should just go right back in. And, bam. So, grab your 15, tighten these up real quick. You know, it's, they just slide right in because of that lube, so. And, so, after these two are tightened up, you're officially ready to go. Now, I still have to do the other side of this car, clearly, but when you get in the car, don't expect to get into the car and then just drive away. Before you even get in the car, pump the brakes to the bottom and do it until it becomes firm, because as of right now, there's going to be no pressure there. Other than that, you're good to go.